Hello and welcome, this is Mr. Icarus, and today we are once more delving into the fifth circle of bullet hell. Today's game is Exceed Third Jade Penetrate Black Package, yes. That is certainly the name, Black Package. Uh, this is the third in the Exceed series, believe it or not, and uh, according to the Steam page, it reboots the Exceed storyline if, you, if you're very invested in that particular kind of thing. In this installment, Rain Lindworm, a descendant of the Dragon Clan, fights her way through a tournament to become one of the seven Cardinal Lords who blah 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 blah. It's an excuse for bullet hell schmuck shenanigans, and I am terrible at it, which is why I'm going to be playing it on normal instead of easy, which I should be doing, just so you can laugh at me. And hopefully I'll be able to show you a few of the quirks of the game. I, I actually regard this in a quite high fashion next to Crimson Clover. Believe it or not, I've not played Toho, or Tohu, however the hell you're supposed to say it. So, uh, this speed is fine. This is nice and fast for me. And you may scoff at that if you're a hardcore shmup player, but um, I'm still learning. I'm still getting to grips with it, and I'm absolutely surprised as hell that I haven't fucked up and taken a hit yet. My, my ultimate dream aim here is to get through this stage without losing a single life, let alone doing the game in a single continue. That would be heaven. That would be absolutely, absolutely amazing, but we both know that's not gonna happen. I am nowhere near that experienced, and I make really dumb mistakes. In terms of the game, there are a lot of helpful tips and tricks in order to uh, make your time a little bit easier. There's uh, two speeds of play. You can have your standard speed here, where you zip around the screen, and what I'm doing now is holding down a lock-on key for my little teeny tiny dragon to uh, dish out a little bit of damage. And ow! I'm gonna bomb out of that. This part always makes me lose a life. I am just far too sloppy at it. There we go. I lost another bomb because I didn't want to follow through on what I was doing there. I'm more concerned with my lives because I know what the really irritating little parts are. What did she just say? Did she say something about my mother? How dare you? Bitch must pay. But anyway, you will collect energy, you will charge up a little meter, which you can see on the bottom left hand corner of the screen there. And when it's full, you can unleash a homing attack, which deals a fair amount of damage. And all I'm doing now is holding down that lock on key for absolute dear life, because I need the precision movement that's afforded by it. It lets you move a hell of a lot slower, lets you navigate these little gaps between projectiles, which I'm doing now, and uh, not make a complete fool of myself. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. She's still saying shit about my mother. I am not, I am not happy about that. We're gonna, we're gonna show her who's boss by shooting her repeatedly with tiny dragons. Also, listen out for when she says bloody hell. I found that <laughs> actually kind of entertaining. This game isn't completely translated. The audio is in its original Japanese, and I believe the text, if you go with the dialogue option, is in English, so you can follow at least some of this. And oh, I always mess up around that point. For some reason, it's these fire projectiles really screw around and they just cause me to lose focus. I just don't see them coming because I'm too busy dodging those projectiles from the bottom. We're nearly there. We can do this. We can do this. This is probably the toughest part of the battle. I'm pretty sure it's the final part as well. We're just going to give it everything we've got. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do this in one continue though. I promise you that. Because that was the last phase of the boss. Eat dragon spit, bitch. But we're on the up and up. We've now gotta get through stage two without losing a continue. Which I unfortunately, you know, I'm going to be a little bit pessimistic here. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> but I am eager to get as far as I can and show you as much of this as I can. And oh, damn. This is a pretty intense experience. And also, of particular note, is the soundtrack. It is badass. You can actually buy the soundtrack separately for this game. And I might just do that because 
it's really fun. It's like the kind of rockin' forward propulsive stuff that really gets my groove on when I'm playing this particular kind of game. Let's take this big bastard out. We're gonna unleash a few powered homing attacks. This is actually really easy to navigate. I'm gonna eat my words any second now. But as long as you're looking for them gaps, you'll be okay. As long as you keep collecting those tiny dragons as well, you'll have nothing to worry about. Let's see, do we get another one out of this? No, not yet. But you do build up your little tiny ti Tiamats? Tiamats? I just call them dragons. Throughout the entirety of the game. And they will help you out quite a lot. That was very close. You do get points for grazing projectiles, which uh, I'm sure adds into a multiplier. But uh, I'm just more concerned with getting through in one piece. Here we go, we got another tiny dragon, which is awesome. We're going to try up. Oh, how did we miss that? Okay, we're going to continue. We've got two more credits. We're going to collect our tiny dragons. I'm going to try not to fuck it up again. I hate these guys. Especially when they kind of trap you in a little corner. And there's so many of them. Damn it, look at that. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, more about the actual game itself. If you're living in extremely British land while you're being insulted by Japanese witches, uh, this game is, I believe, under five pounds, which is awesome. It is really cheap, it is really cool, I really advise you check it out, because if you're enjoying watching it, I'm sure you're going to enjoy playing it. Oh man, I am really in a pickle. I'm not doing very well. There's so much Japanese yelling going on, it's crazy. She, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's saying some really hurtful things here, I, I, I have no idea. This is such a tricky part of the battle. It's, I mean, these patterns that you've got to navigate through, they are absolutely hypnotic and really easy to slip up in. Okay, we're doing this, we're doing this. This is probably supposed to be one of the easier phases of the battle. As long as I avoid those big blobs, I can dart between these other patterns here and we should be okay. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could wipe the sweat from my brow right now. I'm going to be holding on to this second continue for dear life. Come on, come on, we can do this. I've not used any bombs just yet. I've not seen anything bomb worthy. Though I probably should have used a few of them by now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on my second friggin' credit. Oh, boy. That's bomb worthy. I love how all the spells have their own little name as well. Death Thrash Bound. What the hell? I know the last one was called Dimu Borgia, which is pretty awesome. Oh, cock! I made a mistake by coming up here. Damn! Damn, 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 damn. Oh, this is so hectic right now. Holy crap. But yeah, I would not advise this game for beginners. Hell no. In fact, I'm probably a lot more likely to suggest Reflex. That's still a pretty tough game, but this, holy crap. Oh, shut your mouth. That's right, you tell her. You tell her, girl. It's me hanging out with my three dragon bros, kicking all sorts of whatever the hell these things are. I think these are supposed to be like vampire demon things. I don't know. I'm not well versed in this. All I know is that this stage right here, this is where shit gets real. If you thought shit was getting real earlier, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm, I'm honestly surprised I managed to get to this point, to be honest. I feel honored that I've actually managed to get to stage three with more than one continue left. Oh man, I'm gonna have to shut up. Because, oh, look at that. How the fuck? Was I meant to survive that? You gotta have some seriously superhuman reflexes to get good at this stuff. And that's why I like it. It's because it's all skill-based. 
you can make some really awesome achievements and strides in this, and I've seen some amazing gameplay that just seems absolutely inhuman. Can you believe that I didn't find the kind of precision movement button in a lot of these games until last week? Yeah, I've, I've been bumbling around like a complete idiot, trying to move full speed like this, instead of pressing that little slowdown button and giving myself a little bit of breathing room. I have used... I, I might as well just keep my finger down, because it's the only way I'm going to get through this in one piece. I'm just going to be using... Oh, how did that happen? What the hell? Indeed. <laughs> Dragoon detonation, indeed. It's just so weird when just random English words turn up. Okay. Oh god, this is hectic. Am I anywhere near a boss battle? I'm about to lose a continue here. I don't want to lose this credit before the boss. Oh no, we got another mini boss. Okay. Let's see what you got. See if I can dodge all of it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Am I gonna have to bomb out of this? Mm, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? How did I get through that? That was That was entirely nothing but pure dumb luck. Here we go. This is pretty much about as far as I've managed to come. Oh boy. This is going to require a lot of precision movement. So forgive me if I uh, I start swearing like an absolute docker. Oh man. What is this? This is called the Luftwaffe? The Germans are coming to attack me. Oh my god, that is very cherry blossom. Jesus H. Okay. Okay, are we gonna bomb? <laughs> if we're gonna bomb, we're gonna have to do it soon. <laughs> I am really hanging out on this. I'm really trying to keep it to the last possible second with my finger just about ready on that button to bomb out. Yeah, I I'm just not confident enough. <laughs> I'm just not confident enough with it. I've got one life left before I have to switch to my next credit, and I do not want to lose it. At the very least, until I get through this battle. Oh my! Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know what's going on. All I know is there are a lot of very pretty lights. I'm just... my eyes are locked right on the back of my character here. I don't know what's going on up there. I don't want to know. Oh! Okay. Let's see if we can get through this. What the hell is going on here? There is just... Oh my god. Have we got two credits left? Man, I'm doing okay. I, I thought I would absolutely waste those credits long before I reach this point. Oh! Getting into those little spaces is an absolute... Uh. A ball lake, that's what it is. Yeah, you you explode, you crazy whatever the hell you are. Are these meant to be vampires? I don't know. Vampire witches. Dragon witches. I don't give a toss. All I know is that I've made it this far. I done this I I got to this point on easy once, and even that completely smashed me. But the fact that I've gotten here with at least another credit left over? Indeed, those were the words I was exactly looking for. Bloody hell. <laughs> In a strange Japanese accent. I hope you've been enjoying this as much as I have. This is a pure adrenaline rush for me. Trying to focus on all of the crap going on on the screen is probably, you know, the total wrong way to do it. You should generally just be trying to focus on that spot on your character's back, and I, I, I just can't do it. My eyes are attracted to bright, shiny things. It's something you got to train yourself to do. <laughs> and it doesn't come naturally. It is something you're going to have to work at. I, I am 
so friggin' envious of people who can pick up games like this and be instantly awesome. Gotta say I'm jealous. Gotta say I'm really jealous. And I say, I see, rather, some amazingly sweet gameplay videos of this stuff on YouTube. If you're interested more in this as well, uh, I believe Slow Beef does a few of these bullet hell type things as well. There's a lot more crazy ones as well. And I am, I am. Oh, Jesus. You know what? I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be here. I'm gonna have to use these bombs up. Don't want them to go to waste. Come on. Things are getting so frigging hectic. If they weren't already, they really are now. Holy bloody moly. What? No. Nope. I'm bombing out. <laughs> Left, right, and center. I want to know. I want to know what it's, what's at the end of this stage. Am I anywhere near it? Oh. Yes, I am. Let's do this. She's saying something. She's probably insulting my family's honor. I don't care. I'm just too busy trying to avoid all this crap. But this isn't too bad a pattern. And now we're on to part two. It's about to get a hell of a lot trickier. Oh boy. This is... Man, hand-eye coordination, if you just want to improve it, play this stuff. Jesus. You'll be able to catch things dropping out of midair after playing this game repeatedly for a week. Oh, what the dick. No! No. Yeah, there was only one way I was going to get out of that, and that was bombing. Three lives, we still got three lives, we got no bombs left, so we're gonna have to play it cautious. Holy... Yeah. Yep. This, this is just getting into complete unfair territory right now. Oh, crap. So many expletives I want to say right now. Oh, bitch tits. She's doing a thing, I don't know. We've got bombs, I keep forgetting that you get extra bombs when you've uh, lost a life. What? What are my eyes seeing right now? Man, she, she's really talky, isn't she? What are you even saying? You crazy witch person. Right, okay. That was well timed. Oh, I killed her? Holy crap! I've never made it this far before. Is there another stage? Have we made it? What? Oh, here we go. I think this is it. This is where it gets crazy. <laughs> I've been saying that repeatedly, haven't I? This is where it gets crazy. It's been crazy for at least 10 minutes now. I just don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. All I know is there are a load of crazy beams of light headed towards me, and I've got to dodge around them. Whoa. Whoa. I'm, I'm going insane. I am actually... This game is making me go insane. And that's kind of surprising considering the other game that I'm uh, looking forward to playing for the fifth circle of bullet hell. I'm going to be playing Crimson Clover if you don't know about that one. Oh boy, that is that is ADD the game. So many flashing lights. It's 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 actually I'd say easier than this. It's a, certainly a lot more forgiving and I'm I'm uh, that's all my credits. Crap. Oh well. <laughs> I should have paid more attention or maybe used a few more bombs, but hopefully you've enjoyed that. Uh, this has been Mr. Rickards. This has been a fifth circle of bullet hell. Once again, exploring the craziness that is the shmup genre. I love this stuff. I may not be particularly good at it, but damn, do I enjoy it. If you are interested in the game, the link to the Steam page is in the comments below. Excuse me while I burp. Got a lot of trap gas here after all that tension from playing this game. Thank you very much for watching. 
This has been the fifth circle of bullet hell. Icarus out. <laughs>